Hello guys, welcome back to Mufa Suket with SolidWorks to the modeling practical exercise number 3 and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel here, it will be helpful for us to growing up. In this uh, tutorial, I will create a 3D bolt, you can see the image here and you can get this uh, reference image from our site mufasuket.com. Okay, we start now, first I will change the units into metric, you can click here and option and then click uh, document properties tab select the units and you can change to mmgs here and okay next i will click a sketch tab create a sketch select uh, the right plane and we create a polygon object from uh, the center point to the top here we give a uh, dimension from uh, this point to this point in here about 15 okay we extrude the polygon object with uh, distance about 15 and okay next you can select uh, this face we create a circle from uh, the center point to here and we give a dimension for uh, this uh, circle about 24 and click a feature tab use the extrude cut here you can checklist the flip side to cut and active the draft and change to the 60 degree okay next click here to finish you can see the result here select uh, this face and we create a circle from uh, this uh, center point to here we give a uh, dimension for this uh, circle about 22 and we extrude the circle about one point and okay select uh, this face again and we create a circle from uh, this center point to here we give uh, dimension for this uh, circle about 16 okay and then we extrude uh, the circle about 90 point and okay you can see the result and then we change the views to here isometric next i will apply a thread into the object you can click here and click a thread for the thread location you can click uh, this edge and i will use the end condition here about 55 points okay and then checklist the mirror profile and choose the mirror vertical and click here to finish now we'll apply a material into the object you can click here and select the print colors i will click a metal and chrome and choose a brush chromium drop and drag to here and then i will active a photo view you can click here and add in checklist the photo views and ok select the render tool step and click edit scan i will use uh, backdrop scan here and change the background into a color and choose uh, this color and ok and click here to finish next you can click the scan illumination and waiting for rendering faces until finish okay i will choose uh, this uh, scan you can click here again click here until more bright okay i think it's enough and click ok to finish next we try to rendering you can click here per view window and turn on perspective views and we're waiting for a rendering process uh, until done okay you can see the result Okay, I think it's enough today for SolidWorks 3D modeling practical exercise number 3. If you have any question, you can comment below this video. And see you next time in SolidWorks 3D modeling practical exercise number 4.